Hi there and welcome to Online Super Trade Education. My name is Renaldo Soriano and welcome to our channel. Also, please visit our other social media sites on Facebook and Instagram. So if you like our videos, please make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking the link below. So today our topic is simply four different asset classes that we'll be able to do if you want to be a trader. So the first one, number one, is what we call stock trading. Stock tra trading is simply this. For example, here's Apple. Now, if you want to buy a piece of the company or a piece of Apple, simply you're buying a stock that if they're selling really good products and the stock price is currently, say, $100, and you know that next year, because of new products, new innovation that's happening, and more production of Apple is going to be sold then at one point in time your $100 be worth something. So you're buying at a low price or you are anticipating, you're forecasting, you have a piece of information that Apple is gonna do a great job and hence at one point it's gonna be worth $150. So if you bought it at 100 and now you're selling at 150, say the stock price went to 150, then you made a difference of $50. So that's what we call stock trading. The second one is what we call futures trading. Futures trading is simply this. It is a piece of contract somewhere sometime in the future. So for example, a commodity of oil that say the end of April that you are anticipating that there's gonna be some form of demand of oil and currently the price of oil is $5 and by the end that if oil will go to six dollars and you have the piece of contract between you and the seller at the end of the future date of that contract will basically lapse you'll still be buying it at five dollars no matter what the contract is going to be or what the price is going to be in the future the third one is what we call an option options trading is simply a piece of contract that if you want to buy or sell, say for example, Apple at a predetermined price somewhere in the future, you have the right but not the obligation to buy Apple at somewhere sometime in the future. So that is on a predetermined piece of contract, what we call an options contract, and you'll be paying basically or you're receiving a premium depending on what you want to do with it. The fourth and final one is what we call Forex trading or foreign exchange. Uh, foreign exchange trading is simply where you're trading between two different currencies. For example, you have the US dollar versus the Kiwi dollar, what we call the New Zealand dollar. So if you believe because of the economy or say the US is going to be great and that the dollar is going to be worth more than the Kiwi dollar or the New Zealand dollar, then you'll be buying the US dollar versus the Kiwi. So these are the four different types of asset classes that you will be able to do. Mind you, um, there, on the other videos, I will explain fully the differences between uh, asset classes and which vehicle is the best one to use when you are new or when you're learning to trade. All right, so that's the four different types of asset classes that if you're new to the trading game, then these are the four different types. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at esttraders at gmail.com or basically contact us at contact us at esttrader.com. You can also visit our website at www.esttrader.com. Please mind you too though that as a form of disclaimer that these videos are for educational purposes only and not here to give you any form of advice. So mind you that trading in general is risky. So please make sure to uh, have a financial advisor, speak to a, a professional financial advisor before doing such a thing, such as trading, or at least get educated. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy that. Take care until next time. Happy trading, and please make sure to super subscribe to that button and also visit to our other social media sites on Facebook and Instagram. Have a good one. Bye now.